The Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur Wright, are credited with the building and flying the first heavier than air aeroplane. They achieved the first recorded flight on 17th December 1903. Over the next 10 years, they continued to develop the aircraft, making a significant contribution to the development of the modern aeroplane. Their particular contribution was in the effective control of an airplane through their three-axis control system. This basic principle is still used today. It was for this control mechanism that they received their first US patent. Orville and Wilbur had two elder brothers, Rogelin and Lauren, and a younger sister, Catherine. Their parents were Bishop Milton Wright and Susan Catherine. Their father worked as a minister in various churches and as a consequence the family frequently moved around. Their father encouraged his children to read widely and discuss issues. This climate of intellectual creativity and stimulus encouraged the Wright brothers to pursue a range of interests and studies. When they were young, their father brought them a small helicopter built in France. They later commented that this helicopter sparked an interest in flight and they sought to build similar models themselves. Around 1885, Wilbur became withdrawn after sustaining a facial injury during a game of ice hockey. This injury and the resulting depression caused Wilbur to give up his dreams of studying at Yale. Instead, he remained close to home, helping his father with ministerial tasks and looking after his ill mother. However, Orville was determined to try new things and his enthusiasm helped draw his brother Wilbur into new projects. In 1889, they designed and built a printing press which, for a short time, published a daily newspaper. In 1892, they capitalized on the safety bicycle boom and opened a bicycle shop. This was commercially successful but also enabled them to develop their skills as designers and engineers. Around the turn of the century, there was great interest in the possibility of flight. Most of this centered on gliders, but the Wright brothers began to explore the possibility of mechanized flight with heavier than aircraft. They concentrated on building a more powerful but light engine and worked on an innovative design for controlling the plane once airborne. They used funds from the bicycle shop to start testing at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, a rural place where it was more windy which helped give planes lift off. They made extensive tests and also recorded a range of data about possible flights. On 17 December 1903, the Wright brothers made the first historic airplane flight where Orwell piloted the plane called the Flyer, with Wilbur running at the wingtip. The first flight by Orville was of 120 feet in 12 seconds at a speed of only 6.8 miles per hour, was recorded in a famous photograph. The next two flights covered approximately 175 feet and 200 feet by Wilbur and Orville respectively. Their altitude was about 10 feet above the ground. Five people witnessed the first flight, including John Daniels, who took the famous first flight photo. Over the next few years, they continued to develop their aircraft. However, they were conscious of needing to gain successful patents to make their aircraft commercially viable. They became reluctant to reveal too much about their flights and disliked reporters taking photos of their designs. Their secret approach and competing claims by other aircraft designers meant that their invention and flights were met with either indifference or skepticism. 
However, in 1908, Wilbur began public demonstrations in Lima, France. His ability to effortlessly make turns and maneuver the aircraft caused a sea change in public opinion and the display of technically challenging flights caused widespread public acclaim and enthusiasm. In 1909, Wilbur made a public flight up to the Hudson River in New York, circling the Statue of Liberty. The 33-minute flight witnessed by 1 million New Yorkers established their fame in America. Their first application for a patent in 1903 was rejected. In 1904, they hired a patent attorney and they received their first patent. However, other aviators attempted to circumnavigate the Wright brothers' patent, leading to a painful and costly legal battles in the courts. In the last two years of his life, from 1910 to 1912, Wilbur played a key role in the patent struggle. His family felt this contributed to his premature death from typhoid fever in 1912. The brothers never married. Wilbur once quipped, he did not have time for both a wife and an airplane. Orville Wright died of a heart attack at the age of 77. The original Wright Flyer rests in the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Thank you for watching Edupedia World. Please subscribe to watch more videos.